Hi, Jeremy Simon here with 3D Universe. Today I wanted to talk to you about an error message that can sometimes appear on the Ultimaker 3. The message is, difference between detected height of both print cores exceeds realistic values. Now, this is related to the position of the bed. The active leveling procedure of this printer will automatically detect the height of the bed and the position of the build plate using sensors embedded in the print cores. So when the bed raises up, the printer can detect when the nozzles hit the bed. And if the nozzles are hitting the bed sooner than expected, it can cause this error message to appear. So there can be a few causes. The first thing to check is to make sure that the nozzles are clean and that there isn't dried filament hanging out of the ends of the nozzles that might be hitting the build plate sooner than the nozzle itself. Second thing to check is to make sure that your bed is pretty clean. If you have a thin layer of glue stick on your bed, that's fine. And if you're using one of the 3D Universe lock build plates, that's also no problem. But make sure that there aren't any hardened pieces of filament or other residue on the build plate that might interfere with the leveling procedure. But the main cause of this error is usually that the bed is positioned too high, so it's running into the nozzle sooner than expected. So the fix is easy. All you have to do is adjust the position of the bed lower using the three adjustment screws on the underside of the build plate. I'll show you how to do that. So here's the error that can sometimes appear. Difference between detected height of both print cores exceeds realistic values. So on the underside of the bed, there are three adjustment screws, one in the back and two in the front. And what we want to do is tighten those screws all the way down so that they won't go any further and then loosen them back about three to four turns. So we're basically bringing the bed as low as it'll go towards the supporting platform and then loosening it back a few turns to give ourselves some room to maneuver during the leveling process. And you just want to repeat this with all three of the adjustment screws. There's one in the rear center, one in the front right, and one in the front left. Now ideally, you want to have about 14 millimeters between the underside of the aluminum heated bed, the one that the glass plate sits on top of, and the top side of the aluminum frame that the bed sits on. But because of the positioning of the bed and the shape of the supporting aluminum frame, it can be a little bit difficult to get in there and get that measurement. So as long as you follow the instructions in this video, tighten the bed all the way down, and then loosen each of the screws by about three or four turns, it should be right about in the right spot. Once you make these adjustments, just run the manual leveling procedure again to make sure that the bed is properly leveled, and that error message should go away.